Wadi Lajab when i think of this name uh, i uh, recollect a proverb uh, which which reads like this there is no heaven on earth but there are pieces of it so i can address wadi lajab as one such pieces of heaven on earth even the locals and expats living in south arabia address this place as heaven and desert the alright mountains where wadi lajab is found have gained great importance among historians after the saudi history researcher hadi hali he claimed it was the area where people lived in the arabian peninsula in ancient times this place is located in southwest of saudi arabia uh it is exactly to say it's jabal al kahar uh, which is 80 km north east of jisan city this place is close to uh, amman border it is deep in the mountains place is untouched by modern civilization it's so pure i addressed it as pure because on culture aspect the tribes living here still preserve their age old culture and traditions which makes uh, this place as most touristic location in saudi arabia nearest airport uh, to this location is jisan uh, regional airport which is approximately around 129 km from this place the second nearest is uh, the aba airport which is around 181 km from from this place it is popularly known as grand canyon of uh, saudi arabia really it is a canyon uh, infiltrated by small streams of water which has curved a path narrow path between two large mountains It is really a breathtaking experience to witness this colorful sand rock formations all through From the main car park uh, we need to travel 2 km stretch uh, in between the pass uh, to witness uh, the beauty and also to have an hiking ik- experience from the main car park uh, we need to travel uh, on foot or by car uh, for about 2 km between the pass for the real trekking experience and also to witness uh, the aquatic life there if you're traveling by car for this 2 km actually you should ensure that you have you're going by four wheel drive and with good ground clearance as the roads were rough and uneven I choose to go by foot or to experience the mesmerizing beauty of the large mountains and the pass. Uh regarding the visiting time, uh it will be a best idea to reach the place before noon and to experience the beauty of the place and then leave the place before 4 p.m. Uh because after sunset it will be really very hard to get uh, to get back to the car park.
the large car park in between the paths after this 2 km stretch is the stopping point beyond which uh, we can't travel as there were plenty of rocks the real hiking experience starts from this car park The valley is characterized by its vegetation which turns the sides of the surrounding mountains into a green carpet. The coolness of its year-round flowing water is ensured by the 800 meter high sides of the mountain which protects it from direct sunlight. This pass has uh, plenty of water streams and it remains cool all through the year as it is protected by very large mountains. This place delivers fresh water regularly than any other valley in Saudi Arabia which is crystal clear. And uh, hosts numerous ponds and uh, good aquatic life. What is remarkable about Wadi Lajab is its natural hanging gardens that has been densely growing on both sides of the valley it adds to its beauty you can find trees such as olive and palm at a height of approximately 200 meters thick moss seen uh, in this place it resembles a uh, hanging garden When I visited this place I have witnessed a constant police patrol they will ensure you will start moving out before the dark The valley of Wadi Laja is in fact a canyon about 5 km long and from 3 to 30 km wide in some parts the narrow and incredibly deep valley offers some quite dramatic viewpoints the saudi daily newspaper Uh, called uh, arab news quotes like this quotes it quotes a famous arabic tragic love poem called laila majnu in which the hero majnu bin qais dies it's it's a sort of arabic romeo and juliet uh, local people believe that majnu came from wadi lajab region If you are an adventurer or a mountaineer you will enjoy the charming nature characterized by scattered waterfalls and lakes trees that grow on rocks and sunlight that barely catches the steep valley and only for a few minutes while walking through its twisting path you can see many different types of rocks including basalt marble and granite there are also the famous comb rocks that a beast built their honey filled tents
for watching if you like this video please subscribe